Bitcoin has been placed on support for life, and the market is showing some extremely fascinating indications. As this Bitcoin hidden bullish divergence is currently visible, funding rates on exchanges are incredibly low. Still, the majority of liquidity is above us, specifically more than $10 billion in Bitcoin short liquidations. Also, if you take a look at the charts right now, you'll notice that something really important and exciting is happening. So, looking at the near term on Bitcoin, we can see that we have generated a really intriguing V-shaped recovery pattern, and we are currently recovering ever so slowly after this enormous crash. So Bitcoin did indeed cause this enormous dump, and it is currently experiencing a modest rebound to the upside. So basically, when we zoom out right now, we can clearly see that Bitcoin is still in a big decline. Still, Bitcoin is producing lower highs as well as lower lows. As you can clearly see a component of, and in my opinion, this trend will only shift once Bitcoin breaks over the previous range high in the market, which in this case will be approximately $64,000. So, if Bitcoin does see a push higher and breaks above the previous market high, I may begin to guess, yeah, Bitcoin may have bottomed and we'll be looking for a reversal. But as long as we don't break that level and maybe experience a rejection from it, Bitcoin's downturn will most likely continue. That is some really vital and critical information. Also, if you examine the present pattern, Bitcoin is currently resting on the most critical support box of the entire consolidation phase. And honestly, as soon as Bitcoin falls below this level, we should be worried. And if Bitcoin falls below $60,000, the next significant support target in my view will be $50,000 to $52,000. Truly, if we had the option to open a trade at the $52,000 level or to accumulate Bitcoin right there, I would grab the opportunity with both hands. As Bitcoin falls, I will only buy more since I am confident the market is experiencing a short-term correction and over time will be considerably higher than we are now. So it is a challenge of patience. Yet when you are patient enough, you will win. Currently, the market's funding rates are significantly negative. And because the funding rates are so low, I have a strong belief that Bitcoin will continue to rise significantly. So far, things are looking rather good in my opinion. We are experiencing negative funding rates and I believe this serves as an unambiguous warning that the market will most likely continue to rise. You can see right now on Bybit that funding rates are almost 0.2%. This basically provides us with an extremely clear sign that the market is being heavily shorted and that further short pressure is about to occur. And then, if we glance at the liquidation heat map, we are able to see that the majority of liquidity is still above us. Over $10 billion of Bitcoin short liquidations will be liquidated if Bitcoin reaches $74,000. And I believe the market will most likely attain that aim. So it's only a matter of time till we reach it. And then, in my opinion, you simply have to stay patient. Given that Bitcoin will eventually acquire that topside liquidity. Then if we go any further down than we are now, I will desperately want Bitcoin. If we reach $52,000 or $54,000, I plan to open a $1.50 to $2 million Bitcoin long position. So maybe we'll be able to come down, which would allow me to open up a significantly bigger advantage than we possessed before. The large consolidation phase is one of the most critical stages. Also, when you zoom it out, you are able to observe that Bitcoin has been moving sideways for quite some time right now. And to be completely sincere, this is one of the longest consolidation periods we've seen in this upward trend. To be specific, we've been consolidating for almost 120 days right now. Basically, if we are at the bottom of the range, it typically offers a great purchasing opportunity. So if Bitcoin falls towards the lower part of the range, I will undoubtedly accumulate further on the spot. But during my trade, because Bitcoin is currently falling dramatically, it has lost all of its most crucial support boxes. And given that the market could experience up to 140,000 Bitcoin in sell pressure next week, there is still a chance that we will break down. And in the event of a breakdown, I would like to focus on the target located below. Bitcoin's present market is quite unfair. We are seeing that Bitcoin is forming a hidden bullish divergence on the daily timescale, resulting in that lower low on the RSI and that higher low on the market chart. So far, everything is looking okay. We are generating a concealed bullish divergence and to be honest, this only indicates that the market will take a brief pause before resuming its upward trend. I believe I should point to the fact that in the two-week time frame, we may see a bearish crossover on the MACD, which might indicate a very bearish signal because the last time we saw it, it basically showed the market's top and Bitcoin fell very heavily. 
and in my opinion, altcoins are holding up nicely, in which I am significantly invested. As you are aware, this one is also doing incredibly well. But cryptocurrencies in general are doing and performing exceptionally well right now. So, the market is looking excellent. I just shared my thoughts on how I want to approach Bitcoin. I sincerely hope that Bitcoin will break down a little bit lower, since that will provide me a better opportunity to open a larger trade here. Let's meet again with another interesting video.